Hello everyone, Foyrex here. In this tutorial, I want to talk about quite an interesting topic, and that is a very specific problem in Arma 3 editing. And well, I call it a problem, but it's actually not a problem. It's a a command that may lead to a potential problems when used incorrectly. I know that I don't usually do that, and instead just explain this and that, but I've actually had experience with this myself. So I thought that maybe it would be a good idea to mention this. So I was making a mission and one of the features was an image of the diving mask on player's face when he's underwater. In vanilla Arma 3, even if you are underwater, your screen is still the same and I wanted to change that, but on the other hand, I don't want to limit player's view when he's not in the water. So he should automatically take them off once he's not underwater. And this has brought me to the problem of the command underwater. The wiki states that the command checks if the unit is underwater or not, but as Killzone Kit already said on the wiki page, it actually doesn't do what it says it does. The game is supposed to check if the object is fully underwater or not and return true or false. Well, actually, it doesn't do that. The command returns true if the player is in a position where he can't naturally stand on the ground and has to swim. In other words, once the water is too deep for you to walk in it and your soldier automatically switches to swim mode, the command returns true. And when you get back closer to the ground and stop swimming, the command returns false. Well okay now, the command works fine, there's nothing wrong with it. It just works in a different way than one might expect from the name and description. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you'd need to know this kind of information during a mission, be it either for similar reasons as I did, or something completely different, the underwater command actually doesn't really help you as it doesn't inform you whether you are underwater or not. Now um, this may be the first time I spent so much time talking about a command that doesn't do what you want. So in the rest of the video I'm gonna try to offer a better command that actually does what we want to do it in this example and that is to check if a unit or the player is fully underwater or if he has his head above the water while swimming. So I'm not saying that it's the best and most reliable way of doing this stuff but I have personally used the command get boss ASLW. It's short for get position above sea level including waves and if you are already familiar with the basic get post command, you will understand this one pretty quickly. If I don't forget, I will leave a link to a tutorial on set post and get post that I made earlier, if you wish to remind yourself what it does and how it behaves. Okay, well, the get post ASLW is pretty much the same one. The X and Y axes show exactly the same numbers, however, the Z number or the elevation is relative to the sea level while the game takes waves into account, sort of. So to know if the player is above or underwater, you only need to check the third number. In this example, I'll be working with a standard infantry unit, so the model's center is actually at the character's feet, and his head is about 1.9 meters above that. So I'll want to know if the player is less than minus 1.9 meters above the sea level. In other words, if his model center is above the minus 1.9 meters. If the center of the model is higher than that, the player's head is most probably above the water level. You might have to modify this number a bit, as it also depends on the water settings and the mission area. Also, if you are wearing the diving suit, the number may change slightly, so just change it a little bit if it doesn't work quite right. Ok, so that's basically all I wanted to share with you, I know that this isn't a usual tutorial, but for some reason I stumbled upon the underwater command and decided to make a video about this whole thing around it, and that is how to check if the player is fully underwater and how not to check that, but check something else which may be useful as well. Hopefully this information will serve you well one day. So that's it for this video, I hope to see you all in the next one, comment, like and share and have a great day.